Hey, what is up guys? Joseph here for my review of The Departed, and I won't be getting the spoilers as always, um, so you don't have that to worry about, but <sighs> this one's probably going to be my hardest I've ever done because there is, there is so much that happened in this movie, and I... <sighs> There is so much that happened in this movie that I, I, I don't want to spoil for, spoil for you guys. Um, but I'll try to keep it as safe away from those spoilers as I can. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get, get into it. Um, first of all, the story is kind of... Uh, it's going to take a little... Um, time to explain. Jack Nicholson plays Frank C Frank Costello, who is a mob boss, and in the beginning of the film, he like befriends young Matt Damon to become his like father figure. Because he has the plan to make young Matt Damon a cop in the, I want to say it was Boston. Um, Boston, I'll say Boston. Boston Police Department. Uh, and he wants him to be like the main guy, at least close to the most power he can. Because he... Frank Costello, Jack Nicholson, wants him, Matt Damon, to help him out in the tight spots because he's a mob boss. Um, and I think that's all I can say from that angle. Because <laughs> this movie, there's like, um, there are so many angles going on at once. It's This entire movie is a cat and mouse game. I'll get into that later. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio is a. Uh, I think he was. I think he was kicked out. Um, he either got kicked out or you know left, quit, whatever. The uh, police academy, but he's hired by Martin Sheen and Mark Wahlberg to infiltrate and be a rat to the mob Frank Costello so this movie Leonardo's the rat in let me figure out how to say this um Leonardo DiCaprio is the rat hired by the cops to infiltrate the mob Matt Damon is a rat hired by the mob to infiltrate the police. So the movie, movie is basically, well, it's, I want to say it was like about an hour left in the movie. That last hour is them, Matt Damon and Leonardo DiCaprio going back and forth trying to figure out who the rat is. Um, you know that entire uh, hour and a half before it. The first half of the movie is basically setting up to that cat and mouse game. But that's basically all I can say in terms of the story. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, Martin Sheen, great. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm on mispronouncer. Um. Vera Farmiga. 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 The woman from Bates Motel and the Conjuring movies. She's great. Plays the love interest of. Oh, that's just. Ah, screw it. It's not that big of a spoiler. Um, play, plays the love interest of 
Matt Damon and Leonardo DiCaprio. It's kind of like a love triangle going on. Um, but, yeah, that's it in terms of story, and everybody's great in the movie. Um, so I want to say this was the movie that I want to say this is the movie that started the I want to say it was um, Leonardo DiCaprio's um, like Oscar stuff critically acclaimed anyways um, besides Titanic um, but yeah um I did like this movie, but I honest, honestly, I don't think um, it should be as high as it is on the top 250. I think I think it's like, uh, what is it? Um, I think it's like 43, 42, somewhere around there. I, and I'm not saying it's a bad movie. It, it's a great movie. It should be in the top two two fifty. I'm not saying it should be like in the triple digits or anything, but I, there's there's some movies that is lower on the list that I feel should be higher. Braveheart is one. Uh, Gladiator. Uh, sh I don't. I don't. Yes. I don't I don't remember where um Saving Private Ryan is. I wanna say it, I wanna say it's higher, but I'm not sure. But I wanna say Silence of the Lambs is lower. I wanna say I'm not saying this is like the entire like the if it is or not, but I wanna I, if I remember right, Silence of the Lambs is lower. Um But oh well, that's 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 going on another topic. Um, overall, I did look, like this movie. Uh, the, I'll give it a uh, um. I'm gonna give it a four point three out of five stars for The Departed. You guys should definitely check it out if you're interested. Um, really good movie and. That's it for this review. Uh, like me on Facebook at jmash 7 Follow me on Twitter at jmash 7 As always, links in the links in the description below. Um, yeah, if you guys want to keep updated on these classic reviews, there's so so many more to come. Um, so many more, especially in this month. Uh, uh, subscribe thank you guys for the support and uh, yeah that's that's it mash out